Obviously, maybe not the result we were after today, but a good hit out nonetheless, a game that went down to the final over. Yeah, it was. I, I sort of, we left probably, or well, they got probably a little bit too many in the end. Um, like to restrict them a little bit better towards the end of our innings, but you know, that's how it goes. They had two you know, good hitters in at the end. Um, and then with the bat, you know, we sort of felt in the game for most of it and then probably just fell off a little bit at the end with, you know, no in batter in, in the last two or three overs. But that also happens in T20. You've got to go and try and maintain 11, 12 and over and, and guys do get out. So, you know, I think all in all, we did probably make a few mistakes. They were, yeah, it showed in the result, but they were better than us. They didn't make real, real mistakes in the field. We probably dropped a couple of catches, which... You know, it's costly and it just takes a little bit of momentum out of the team. Um, and then with the bat, you know, we sort of had a 30 and a 40 and they had a you know, 50 plus. So you know, those are little things that we'll probably look at and uh, hopefully game one we can not do that. I guess that's what these warm-up matches are about though, isn't it? Ironing out those kinks? It is. It's good to play against, you know, another BBL team. Um, I think in the past we sort of make it up as we go and play against like internal games, which we do on Thursday. But it's good to see you know, a little bit where the other teams at. They've obviously got two, you know, good imports. Um, you know, a bit of bit of speed in their attack. So you know, that's something for us to look at um, when we play them 8th of January in Hobart. So. It's good to play against you know another competitive team. They want to obviously play well and, and have a good um, hit out for themselves and you know test us a little bit. In terms of your own performance, pleasing to get through a few overs and take a few wickets as well. Yeah, that was nice. I think um, probably the most satisfying bit is to get and a wicket in the sixth over. I think that's always in any game that's a key, just to get a new batter in just after the six. Um, where if they had to go through there, then they basically got full license to keep going. So it's nice to for us throughout the, the middle to restrict them and, and get wickets, uh, you know, key players out at, at key times. Um, and then probably the same you can say about our batting, as we just look set to, to go, we, we lost a couple of wickets. So, you know, that's, that's probably what both teams want to improve on going into the real season. And finally, just a word on the crowd that was out here today, really good turnout from the Wollongong community. It was a great turnout, you know, it's great for us to, to play in front of a, a crowd and it was good support, you know, they, they stayed right until the end, even though we needed, you know, 20 in the last over, it, it, it was great to, to play in, in front of a crowd, because, um, you know, we play on, on Thursday at the SCG and no one might turn up, so it's nice to come out here and to play um, a little bit out of Sydney and, you know, last year we were cross and it was, it was equally as good, so it's nice to do that and it was a really good wicket, you know, the outfield was great, the wicket, uh, it was really good, um, so overall it was, it was a real good day. Awesome, thanks a lot for your time. Thank you. Cheers mate. No